everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in this video I'm going to talk about what it's like to be a female computer engineer. I am in my last year of college and I only have about one more semester till I graduate and I am pursuing a computer engineering bachelor's degree. Um, right now I just wanted to make this video to inform others, specifically females, who are looking to actually pursue this degree as well and are just now going into college or want to change their major or anything like that. Um, I know there aren't a lot of females right now currently that are actually uh, computer engineers or engineering in general. Um, it's mostly male dominant uh, field. So I decided to just give you some tips or little experiences that I, I have gone through, um, hopefully to help you in some sort of way. So the first thing I've learned is that the courses are very tough. They are a lot harder than what I had expected. Obviously, it's engineering, but I don't know why. I just didn't think that they were that difficult because I didn't understand, I guess, what they were. But um, they're really tough. They are very time consuming, but they are also very rewarding. When I would go through the courses and I would take them and it was brutal, like I would study for hours and everything, but as soon as I went over that, it was a very rewarding feeling. Um, but some of the courses that I've taken were Calculus 1, Calculus 2, Calculus 3, um, Algebra, of course. Um, let's see, some other ones like Discrete Structures, uh, Programming, Intermediate Programming, Software Engineering, um, Operating Systems, like a whole list of them. Overall of that, I've learned so much about computers, so much about engineering, like programming specifically because I had an emphasis in software engineering and computer engineering involves both hardware and software but you can also choose to go the hardware route um, it just it just depends on what you want to focus on but computer engineering is more about the computer's um, makeup how it works um, and then also some of the applications that are part of it but it's like a hybrid between um, engineering like electrical engineering and then computer science so it's like right smack in the middle between electrical and computer science so yeah that's basically computer engineering if you were wondering and other than the classes the people themselves in the class were very nice they are very nice um, there are a lot of males um, and the professors are very very kind that I didn't expect they are very kind and um, you know nice open they're not rude the way i had experience with some other professors such as like in economics or business courses they seem to be very um standoffish but these ones are very open and kind and quiet too um but it's really interesting because the engineering can like the engineering um field that i'm in right now in college it's a very small group of people so it almost feels like being in high school it's like a little community um, so that's also another thing you can really get to know your classmates and you can actually be friends with them because you will have them in a lot of the courses and there won't be very many other people it's not going to be a huge classroom unless if the it's the generic courses of course freshman year it's always huge classrooms like with 200 people but that's the other thing i'm going to get into the classrooms sizes are very small. They're at least 20 to 30 people most of the time. After freshman year, it's mostly 20 to 30 people, um, except for those couple classes that do require both engineering students and computer science students to take. Um, but this is just for uh, the University of New Mexico, the college that I'm going to right now. Anyway, I don't know what else I can talk about, but um, if you have any questions, please um, write them in the comments below. That way I can answer them for you because I don't know, I guess I don't really know what I should talk about because I don't know what people wanna know about being a female computer engineer. So I'm just kind of putting this video out there to let anyone else know that yes, there are other females who do computer engineering and yes, I also like to do YouTube and do other things that don't involve like a face and screen and just coding all day. I don't really like to do that. And that's where it's like, oh, well, why did I do it to begin with? Well, because of the pay. You are guaranteed a job. You, especially as a female, I'm like 90% guaranteed a really well-paying job. But like I said, it takes work and it's really hard to do. 
but once you do it, you pretty much have like a, yeah, you're, you're set. You're set in terms of getting a good paying job and all of that stuff. But uh, yeah, so please write down any questions that you may have and I will make sure to answer them and I'm pretty sure I'll know um, what to look for. If you guys do have any questions, if you girls do have any questions, then um, yeah, please let me know. Anyway, I hope you like this video and please like and subscribe below. Thank you.